Welcome to all the aspirants. Today we are going to discuss about 14th September current affairs. So first of all, let me start with the last GK questions. Where is Abogar Wildlife Sanctuary situated, Punjab? Where is Harike Lake Wildlife Sanctuary situated, Punjab? Where is Jawagar Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary situated, Rajasthan? Where is Ram Sagar Wildlife Sanctuary situated, Rajasthan? Where is Farmbong Low Wildlife Sanctuary and Meenam Wildlife Sanctuary situated, Sikkim? Where is Gumti Wildlife Sanctuary and Rova Wildlife Sanctuary situated, Tirupura? The tribes who lived in Manipur are Naga, Kuiki, Meetai, Aimol, Angami, Churu, Maram, Monsang, Pait, Purum, Tado, Mavu and Poimi Naga. Fatima Diana Zayed is the first female secretary general of SARC. Udan Martand is the first Hindi newspaper in India established in 1826. The methods of speaker in Lok Sabha, post of prime minister, cabinet system of ministers, writs and parliamentary type of government be taken from United Kingdom. The famous flute musical exponents were Hari Prasa Charasya, Banalal Ghosh, T. R. Magalingam, N. Ramani, Raghunath Seth, B. Kunjumani and Pragash Saxena. Karo is the highest peak of Haryana. The second fire plan is based on P. C. Magalanobi's model. We give top priority to industry on the second fire plan. Aryabhata wrote a book titled Surya Siddhanta. So let me discuss the last current affairs session. Who has been appointed as the Principal Chief Operations Manager of Central Railway? Shyam Gupta. Who wrote the book The Song of the Cell? Siddhartha Mukherjee. Which company was conferred Navaratna status by Department of Public Enterprise? Rashtriya Chemical Fertilizer. Who launched Malaviya Mission Dharma Indira Pradhan? In which year? Special Protection Group was created, 1985. Who has been elected as the Prime Minister of Vanuatu? The person is Sato Kilman. Sato Kilman. And about Vanuatu, it is a country and the capital of this country is Port Villa. This Port Villa is situated in F8 Island. So most of the people who spoke Bislama language in Vanatu. Nikos Christo Daulides is the president of Cyprus. Bona, Bola Tunubu, president of Nigeria. Wu Wan Tuang, president of Vietnam. Ramchandra Paudal, president of Nepal. Santiago Pena, president of Paraguay. Petteri Orpo, prime minister of Finland. Kiriakos Mitsotakis, prime minister of Greece. Edgar Srinkeviks, president of Latvia. Hun Manat, Prime Minister of Cambodia. Seta Tavisin, Prime Minister of Thailand. Dharman Shanmugaratnam, President of Singapore. Which railway zone won PMI South Asia Award 2023? Northeast Frontier Railway. Northeast Frontier Railway won PMI South Asia of Asia Award for Intruder Detection System to Save Elephant. So the Northeast Frontier Railway introduced a detection system that will save the elephant while crossing the railway tracks. And about Northeast Frontier Railway, its headquarters is situated in Gaugati. It was established in 1958. Currently, this Frontier Railway have five divisions. Odisha State Disaster Management Authority and Lungle Fire Session 1, Subhashandra Bose Disaster Management Award. Truth Hounds won Norway Sakara Freedom Award. Javagar Navodhya Vidyalaya in Nadia won first prize in 24th National Youth Parliament Competition. GSITA has been awarded accreditation as Adi Uttam by NABAD. Gita Press won Gandhi Peace Prize. NMDC won Asocham Business Excellence Award. KSRTC won Asia's Best Brand Employer Award. Which country became a permanent member of G20? And the country is African Union.
So African Union becomes the new member of G20. So while talking about G20, let me explain. So first we discuss about African Union. So about African Union, the African Union comprises of 55 states. 55 states. It was established in 26 July 2001. The headquarters of African Union is situated in Addis Ababa in Ethiopia. Now we are going to talking about G20. So about G20, it have 19 countries and the European Union. So totally 20. G20 was established in 1999. So this year the theme of G20 is Vasudeva Kudumbagam. That means the world is one family because G20 2023 held in India. So India set a theme. The first G20 summit was held in 2008 in Washington DC. The next year, the next G20 summit is going to be held in Brazil in 2024, South Africa in 2025. South Korea hosted first Asian country to join NATO cyber defense. India joined 68 country in Interpol style sexual data abuse. Finland is the 31st member of NATO. Iran became the full member of Shanghai Cooperation Organization established in 2001. UAE is the first Arab country to get observer status on Asian Pacific Group on Money Laundering. Saudi Arabia is the 51st country to join ASEAN's Treaty of Amity and Cooperation. Bangalore is the first Indian city to join World Cities Culture Forum. BRICS the new member of BRICS are Egypt, Ethiopia, Iran, Argentina, UAE and Saudi Arabia. Which day is observed as World Physiotherapy Day? Every year we observed September 8 as World Physiotherapy Day. Now, the theme of this year is Prevention and Management of Osteoarthritis. August 1, World Lung Cancer Day. August 9, International Day of the World's Indigenous People. August 12, International Youth Day, World Elephant Day. August 17, Independence Day of Indonesia. August 20, World Mosquito Day, Sadbhavana Divas. August 23, National Space Day. August 26, Women's Equality Day. Who wrote the book, Drunk on Love, The Life, Vision, and Songs of Kabir. The book was wrote by Vipul Riki, a famous author. And also he wrote A Simple Love Story, Bleed and 2012 Nights. Anita Barasha wrote Colors of Devotion. Abhishek Choudhury wrote Vajpai, The Ascent of the Hindu Right, 1924-1977. Vinod Mankara wrote Prism. The Ancestral Abode of Rainbow. R. Chidambaram and Suresh Gangatra wrote India Rising Memoir of a Scientist. T. N. Session wrote Through the Broken Glass an Autobiography. John Guy wrote Tree and Serpent, Early Buddhist Art in India. Nasima Marakayar and S. Rajan wrote APJ Abdul Kalam, Memories Never Die. Neerja Choudhury wrote How Prime Ministers Decide. Ranjit Pradap wrote As the Wheel Turns. Rishi Raj wrote Kargil Ek Yatri Ki Jubani. With state government launched Mukhya Mandri Rajya Samajik Saraksha Pension Yojana. So this scheme was launched by Jharkhand State Government. Jharkhand State Government. So let me explain about this pension yojana. So this scheme is exclusively for a transgender community. So, Mukhya Mandri Rajya Samajik Saraksha Pension Yojana is exclusively for transgender community in Jharkhand. They will get a rupees of rupees thousand in every month. Also, talking about Jharkhand, Jharkhand State Government launched Mukhya Mandri Sharmik Yojana, Hammer Upon Budget Web Portal and Mobile Application. So, the Jamtara is the first district in India to have library in every village which is situated in Jharkhand. Diogar Airport established in Jharkhand. Jharkhand is the third state to have food security atlas after Bihar and Odisha. 
ஜார்க்கண்ட் ஸ்டேட் கவர்மெண்ட் லான்ச் ஜர்னி யோஜன் போர்ட்டல் அபுவா அவாஸ் யோஜனா the state celebrated bangus valley festival this celebrate this festival celebrated in jammu and kashmir region and about this festival so it is a festival which is celebrated in winter season the lieutenant governor of jammu and kashmir manoj singha organized this festival so the bangus valley festival celebrated in kupwara district in jammu and kashmir to promote their culture and development assam celebrated brongali or boga bigu baiko and mongit manipur celebrated kuntado sangai imonaratpa gandgai and yashum odisha celebrated sital sasti noakai danyatra and rajparba chatisgarh celebrated cherchara punjab maghi mela arunachal pradesh unning festival chachin grazing festival bigar Tawe, Satwani, Jursital, Magarashtra, Magarashtra's Varkari community people celebrated Palki festival and Nagrani festival. Guddi Goya people celebrated Sammaka Saralamma Jatra Fair. Uttarakhand celebrated Harila festival. Jammu and Kashmir hosted Machel Madhai Yatra.